Uh, Julian, I want to start with you, please. Uh, so much of the discussion this week has been about, like, did Amanda have a bad night or an off night last time you fought versus, you know, were you just the right fighter to beat her? So I'm just curious what you think when you hear that discussion of people talking about this rematch. It's frustrating, you know. Uh, they say that she slipped on a banana peel, and that's why she lost that night, and I don't think that that's the case, and that's what we're doing here. We're going to run it back and do it again, and then maybe you guys will finally put some respect on my name. Is this a different mental fight for you with maybe that aura not there anymore? Fedor Emelianenko has an aura. Um, Mike Tyson, Dana White, they have auras. I don't know about this aura that you speak of with Amanda Nunes. I'm not seeing it. You know, she can say whatever she want. You know, we here Saturday. We're going to be there 100% and we're going to beat her. That Saturday is my opportunity to get in my belt back. I'm going to be becoming the double champ again Saturday. Honestly, how I lost, I couldn't take it, you know? So I went back home and I have to do this again, you know? And I put it, I make all the adjustment and the, the changes that I supposed to do and I jump in camp, you know? I wanted the belt back and this is what I love to do. This is the feeling that I like and I cannot retire like that. And that was my main reason I, I gotta fight, you know? I gotta fight, I gotta be that, Is and then I gotta be that. Para, é, depois, I'm supposed to. Uh, I gotta be that 100% de, and de do que, my best, que, you know? Foi feito. So, eu não poderia ter perdido essa oportunidade de, de lutar é, e voltar. Eu não queria, basicamente, esperar. E, e para mim foi muito difícil essa, esse momento. Eu tive que voltar para o ginásio. Eu não podia deixar do jeito que foi. Eu amo fazer isso. É isso que eu gosto de fazer. Esse é o sentimento que eu gosto de ser campeã. E eu queria esse cinturão de novo para mim. É por isso que eu precisava voltar. E não ia deixar daquele jeito como foi. E ser campeã é muito bom. Eu sei o sentimento que ela está agora. Então, eu ainda sou campeã. Eu sei o sentimento. Então, eu quero ser uma double campeã de novo. Isso foi a minha grande coisa. Eu tenho que ir. Go back, go to the gym, fix everything, get everything under control and come back here. Now I'm here, Saturday, I see you guys there, and my opportunity to get my belt back. Do it. Juliana, you get your hand raised Saturday night. Instead of defending 135, would you challenge her for the 145 pound strap? I mean, all the real fights are at 135. She's saying that she's gonna fight at 145 and defend her belt against who? Name three 145ers. Name two 145ers. There's nobody in that division. Everybody knows that the real fights are at 135 pounds. Amanda and I are the two best female fighters in the world, and the real fights, all the real shit's at 135. Let's say in a perfect world for you, you are the one getting the victory Saturday night. Yes, sir. How your victory speech will be, and what would you say to all of those doubting you before the fight? I'm gonna say yet again, I'm not surprised, mother. Thank you, Operator. I am going to punch, kick, pull her hair. I'm gonna bite her. I'm gonna gouge her eyeballs out if I have to. I'm literally gonna do everything in there. Trust me when I say I am ready and willing to die. Whatever it takes, I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Uh -huh. And I Let's hope literally none of that happens. <laughs> And I will be there ready to, to be even better than her, you know? She really is going to face the, a lion she didn't see last time. So I'm ready. I'm the real Leo lion, and it's Leo season, guys. So uh, strap up. Only, is this only one lion in the jungle? That's me. That's what you said last time. I want tacos, I want burritos, I want tequeños, I want arepas, I want platano con queso. Yo quiero todo. Muchísimas gracias por apoyarme. And uh, please, please tune into this fight. Thank you so much. And, and I just can't wait to eat some real soul food when I'm done with this. Thank you. You know, the car that fought Brandon back in 2019 isn't the same car that's standing in front of you today. Um, I've got so much more experience now, being a father, being a husband. I've got more purpose. And uh, I'm just on another level, so... You know, congrats for Brandon for what he's done since we'd fought, you know, going on to win the title. Uh, but it's my time, so, you know. <laughs> you know, Dallas, Texas, I love being out here. You know, I'm a long way from home, but uh, I'll show you why I'm the best in the world.
And then obviously everyone does want to see that fourth fight between you and Davidson. Is the plan still win Saturday and then fight in December whether he is ready or not? Brother, well, I mean, I have too much respect for Kai. I don't know nothing about Davidson Figueredo. Let me win this fight this Saturday and we can talk about it, all right? Man. You know, right, right now it's... Right now, like, I'm just trying to enjoy the moment. I'm hungry, I'm, I'm cutting, uh, cutting weight right now. But definitely, just give me some pasta tomorrow, just some energy, and then uh, I'll show you all the world why I was the champion and why they deserve to be the champion again, man. I need a Spanish translator. Give me a Spanish translator. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. What do you say? I said, are you going to swang and bang this Saturday? Excuse, excuse me. No, I want the Spanish guy. He meant translate. What did he say? <laughs> Go ahead. Tell him what he said. Today is Sabado. Pendejo puto. I'm going to bang his ass up. That was very articulate of you. Where do you rank uh, Ankalaev among the opponents that you faced? Man, he's good. He really is. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes. Uh, he's never out of position. <laughs> uh, but I'm, I'm of the belief that Magomed Ankalaev has been in 18 mixed martial arts competitions and zero fucking fights. So Saturday night, he's going to be in a fight. Anthony, where do you rank him among the opponents that you faced? Тот же вопрос, что я спросил у Энтони, где он тебя по сравнению с другими оппонентами, с которыми ты сражался, на каком уровне он? Уровень, я не знаю, куда его поставить. Я думаю, его, его время уже прошло. Мы это, я думаю, покажем, что его время прошло. I don't know exactly where to put him on the scale. I think his time is over now. And I'll show it on Saturday that his time is past at this point. Uh, Pantoja, after beating Kakara France and Moreno, do you feel that your, title, your right is actually to be fighting for a title? Yes, uh, I'm a good father and uh, I have for my kids. <laughs>